Learning Motivation and Coffee Talk with Immigration Attorney Brian D. Lerner. Now we are talking about the F-1 student visas um, and this particular visa is we're doing a full set of videos on non-immigrant visas. Now one aspect of the F-1 that I'd like to discuss in this particular video is reinstatement. And now a lot of times what happens is uh, you know you'll come here on an F-1, you will, for whatever reason, drop from full time, you'll drop out of school, you'll get sick, your mother will get sick, uh, whatever it is, and you will um, no longer be in the valid F status, and then when you want to go back to the school, uh, they can't take you because you're not legally in F status. What do you do? Uh, so what you would want to do is prepare a reinstatement petition. Okay, and uh, what that is, is that's a petition that you prepare is explaining the whole situation. It'll be brought to the local immigration, and then they will decide whether to reinstate you. And if they do, voila, magically you are back in status and you can attend the school. Um, one item uh, of concern is if you have worked out of status while on an F-1, it will be quite difficult to get it reinstated. Um, if you haven't worked out of status, uh, but you know you dropped out for one reason or another, the chances of reinstatement are much higher. Uh, so it will depend on the reason that you are no longer in F status as to the uh, success of the ultimate reinstatement petition. But you want to have it prepared properly. You want to have um, a lot of evidence as to uh, the reason that you fell out of status and so forth. And then, um, again, if it's reinstated, do go back to school right away because once you get one reinstatement, it's unlikely you'll get another. Okay, more in the coming videos.